everyone. Welcome back to another Kevin's Creations here on Geektopia Island. I'm Kevin. And I'm Cardwell. And as always, we're back with a new deck tech, new fun craziness from the new Valhalla. Mm -hmm. And I'm, it's with Fushi, our boy. He's back, here to show some new stuff. He's not too bad. Uh, the deck name is called Emblematic Problem. Yes. It's pretty ridiculous, but before we get into it, we should remind everybody we do have a Patreon, guys. The link is down below. Go check it out. See what you like. See what you don't like. Let us know. Uh, we got a whole bunch of new tiers that we were like, we reread a whole lot of tiers and swapped some things and tell us what, what you think. Please. With that, we'll delve into the, the problems that this deck has, but that it creates. Yes. So our boy Fushi, Divinity 10, Judgments for 2 red and 3, and Energizes for a red. It's pretty high, but yeah. that's okay. He Judgments into a 10-10 flyer, enter, search your deck for a dragon with total cost 4 less, and put it into the field. I just didn't realize the, yeah. the combo with that. Okay, yeah, we're good. so he, he gets to go get a dragon and put it in play and be like, hey, there's a cool dragon, and now I have a Tintin Flyer and whatever dragon you go get. Yep. It's pretty ridiculous. But that is him. And then his runes, we have the full Divinity 10, so you, you get to use all of them. Uh, first up is our one of my favorites, Flame Dragon Summoning. Two red and three. It costs one less for a rune area. This is Divinity 2. This card deals 800 damage to target J slash Resonator. Search your deck for a dragon with total cost 5 or less and put it into the field. <laughs> so good. So you're like, pay 4, shoot a dude, get a dragon. Yeah. Hey, seems good. Fair enough. Next up is uh, his Master Rune, his original one. Flame Soldier Formation. A red and X. Play it only if you're Fushi. Quick cast, choose one. Target X J Resonators cannot attack or block this turn. Or search your deck for a Fire Resonator with total cost X or less and put it into the field. So... Any kind of correlation with these is you're putting dudes into play all the time. Yeah, or you can't can't block, you just win the game. Yeah, like, it, his rune's so good because it does both. You're just like, I don't, don't attack, yeah, don't yeah. block, the, don't, don't, whatever. I, whatever. Uh, next up is Sendor's Invasion, two red and three, Divinity three, costs one less from rune area. Mm -hmm. Look at the top five of your deck. You may put a fire resonant with total cost one, total cost two, and total cost three from among them into the field. Again, another rune that puts dudes into play, because it's why not. Yeah. It's too good. Uh, also, we're playing black. Power of Immortality. It's just a good rune. You just have to do it. Yep. Black and one. Quick cast. You pay one less to play from rune area. So one black. Target resonator gets plus four, plus oh. And when it dies, it comes back into play tapped. And then finally, for the last rune, is Wrath of the Flame God. It is one of the newer ones, and it is four red. Divinity 2, if you control Genshi, you may pay a red less and an additional red less for each kind of Dragon Emblem you control. So, essentially, if you have all the Dragon Emblems, this costs free. It nice. is zero mana for destroyed target non-magic stone entity. Simple as that. Or any number, or it can cost anywhere between one to four. Yeah. So, it's pretty cool, and the ability to be able to just be like, ah, kill that thing in the yeah. middle of the game seems pretty good to me. Yeah, just plop your ruler off. Yeah. Just pop him on the yeah. nose. Just, no just more. anything, get out. Blah. Yeah. But that is it for his divinity and his full 10, and it's, it's going to be fun. Yeah, it seems pretty good. Seems solid collection there. Now, of course, uh, the re first resonator we got is Sandora's Blacksmith. It's a one red, three, or two four. If a fire J resonator you control would deal damage, it deals that much, plus 100 instead. So, not too bad. A little extra damage there. And uh, the next one, of course, is aptly named the Tiny Fire and Water <laughs> Dragon. One red, four four. You treat fire stones as they are water stones as well. Tap them to produce the water. Now, this dragon gains swiftness as long as you control a dragon emblem of fire. And this also gains flying as you control a dragon emblem with blue, water. This card gets plus three, plus three as long as you control dragon, dragon emblem vermilion. So, it's a little... Weird. This one's kind of the weakest of all of the side things because you have to build it up. Yeah, for sure. If you have all three, he gets to be a boss. But yeah, yeah. It, you just have to have him, which kind of is rough. He's a one drop seven seven flyer. Yeah, pretty much, which is nice. Next up is the Hoalsaurus. It is two red for a six six. Whenever he enters the field, it deals three hundred damage to target J slash Resonator. So you just get to shoot something. I'll explain a fun little thing with him later when we go get it. We gotta get to it. Yeah, but even with Sendora's Blacksmith turn one, then this guy turn two can kill their one drop mana door yeah. pretty much. Or mana filter. Next up is Lady Huang, the Concealed Expression. One red and one for a 6-6 six, six human. This card gains quick cast as long as you control a dragon emblem red. Mm -hmm. It gains 
rest all resonator J resonators your opponent's control as long as you have Dragon Emblem Blue, and it gets plus four plus four in swiftness as long as you control Dragon Emblem Vermilion. So essentially, it is two mana for a 10-10 swiftness. Tap all your dudes. Quick cast if you have all the Dragon Emblems. Yeah. So it the Dragon Emblems are fun, but they're a little rough because you got to get to them. Yes. But if you have them, your dudes get to be way stronger. Yeah. yeah. Especially be able to just tap your dudes and then swing in for the game pretty much. Or oh, kill yeah. all their dudes if you need to. Yeah, it's pretty ridiculous. Uh, of course, we're playing red, so we have to do it. Uh, Ultra Dragon Shooting Star. It's a 10-10 for 3 red, flying. He has barrier blue and black, which you don't really see anymore that nowadays. It says, whenever Resonator enters the field under your opponent's control, is being played from the opponent's hand, this card deals 2,000 damage to it. So if anything comes from the graveyard or just gets plopped down, then 2,000. Done. Kill it. Now, when this card is put in the graveyard from the field, discard a card at random. That's the negative for having a 10-10 flyer for yeah. 3. But we'll take it. Yeah. yeah. We will take it. It's mostly there to just help you fight Alter and any of those silly graveyard things. Because graveyard recursion is pretty much everywhere right now. Yeah. So he's just there to be like, ah, cool, take 20. Uh, yeah, don't do Thanks. your combos. Thanks. And he's a dragon, so Fushi can get him if you need to. Yes. Next up is the, the, the main guy of a deck, Genshi Tensin, the God of Flame. A blue, red, and one for an 8-8 eight, eight high god. He enters. You gain in Dragon Emblem Red or Dragon Emblem Blue. If your ruler is Fushai, gain both instead. Nice. As long as you control a red dragon emblem, this card gains if a fire source you control will deal damage, it deals that much plus four. And if you control a dragon emblem blue, this card gains at the end of your turn, draw a card. <laughs> so essentially, you get both dragon emblems when you play this dude. Mm -hmm. And then he automatically turns all your dudes into bigger. Or they deal more damage and whatnot. So yeah. their base just damage goes up plus four when they hit. Because they are a source that still deals damage. But what makes this dude really silly is the Huella source I talked about. He gets to shoot something for seven. Yes. For you just like pay two, shoot that thing for seven. Kill almost anything because I can. And then I have a 10 6 for yeah. two mana. <laughs> yeah. I, I'll take it. And he just helps you fill your hand up every turn because you're just like, cool, we're doing things and I'm going to draw cards at the end of the turn. Yeah, which is really good. Now, of course, to help with the Vermilion part, Lord of the Vermilion. It's a 2 red, 2, 12, 12 flyer, which is pretty good stats on its own. It's a dragon that costs 4 or less, so therefore with Fushai, you can just plop him out. Because, enter, if you control a, a dragon emblem red or blue, you gain Vermilion. So there, there you go. Prevent all damage that would be dealt to Jade Resonators you control by fire sources you control. Each of the J Resonators gain plus X plus X until in a turn where X is the damage prevented this way that would have been have dealt. Now, if you control a Vermilion, this card gains at the beginning of your main phase, this card deals 800 damage to each J Resonator. So this guy like board wipes every turn on their side only. Yeah, and make sure dude's plus eight. Yeah, plus eight, every time. <laughs> For four mana. Because he, he he does hit your dudes, but it prevents all that damage. Yeah. So you're just like, cool, my dudes get plus eight. And now I'm going to kill you because you have no board. And uh, yeah. if you have Genshi in play, it adds another plus four on top of that. Yeah. So you're at 12 damage to the board, and my dudes get plus 12. Pretty much, if you can just get these two in the field and immediately by turn three or turn four, you kind of slide. You have an upper hand. <laughs> yeah, you have a really game. good upper hand. Because they can't get rid of the... The, the Dragon Emblems, I do believe. Yeah, it's it's pretty ridiculous if it works. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Of course, now we also have to play Dino Rider. It's a 2 red and 4, 14, 14. Uh, when this card enters the field, it deals 600 damage to each other Resonator. So help with the Vermilion, you know, just yep. bumps them up. Done. Whenever Resonator is dealt damage by this way to put in the graveyard, uh, this card gains Swiftness until the turn. So it's pretty cute. So for the Vermilion, Damage everywhere. This game gets swiftness and plus six plus six. Yeah, again, the Dragon Rider just helps you do a lot more damage to everything. Yeah. So it pumps your dudes again if you have Dragon Vermilion out. And if Genshi it becomes shoot the board for ten. Yeah. And uh cool, take fourteen. Or with Gen or Genshi will be dead then if you don't have the Vermilion. It, but it's it just it so is. much to calculate. Yeah. Next up is our boy Usha, uh, the Swordsman of Eternal Flame. Three red and three for a 1711. Fire resonators you control gain swiftness. Enter, look at the top five of your deck. You may put a resonator total cost five or less from among them into the field. Put the rest on the bottom in a random order. So he gets literally anything except Dragon Rider and himself. 
but yeah. or Dino Rider, but that's okay because if you get a Vermilion off of that or a Genshi off of that, <laughs> fantastic. Yeah. Even if you just get a Lord of Vermilion and don't have the Dragon Emblem Vermilion, you still get to be like, my dudes don't get dealt damage. Yeah. Thanks, and they get bigger by my own stuff. It's it just that's, is silly what you get to get with it. It's pretty cute for sure. Now, with the spells, of course, this is where the, most of the black comes in, too, because of the two colors. And just in case they kill Genji, you can do Command of Life and Death. So one black, one chant. Put trigger resonator or total cost three or less from the graveyard onto the field. Simple as that. Mm -hmm. It works so well. Yeah. And, of course, one of our fun favorite cards here. It's a heroic epic for the thousandth night. It's red and black and one. You may put a resonator from your hand onto the field. At the end of the turn, return that card to its owner's hand. This plops down Dino Rider or Genji or just just everything and yeah. then done. Yeah, it can it can quick give you emblems if you need them or you just... It's pretty silly on a Dino Rider because you're just like, put Dino Rider in your play, shoot your board. Oh, Swing. something died, take 14. He goes back to my hand. Yep. Let's do it again in two more turns. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Thanks. Or in Ushua, you get a free card because you, you still get his inner trigger of look at the top five and put a thing into play. Yeah, so. That's pretty good. Yep, yep. All right, and of course, to quickly put Dino Rider in there, of course, is Dark Impact. It's a kill spell. Uh, one black and three. You hurl a Cthulhu at someone. <laughs> you destroy a target resident error, and then you put a dinosaur from your hand to the field. Great. Kill a dude and I get a Dino Rider that kills some more dudes. Yep, fantastic. And then lastly is City of Sandora, or City of Mirage, the Sandora. A red and one addition. Whenever a J resonator you control is targeted by a chance spell or an ability your opponent controls, you may banish this card, you may cancel that spell. That essentially is there to protect your Genshi tension from being targeted. Because if that dude's in play, they're going to try to kill him. Yeah, immediately. And like, Sandor is mostly to save your Vermilion dudes from doing things. Because the two drop, she already does her job if you have the emblems. Yeah. You just want to be able to keep Lord of the Vermilion in play and or Genshi in play. And that's what this is for. Is to be like, no, don't target them. Thanks. Yeah, it's an extremely annoying addition to deal with, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, the stones, they're really simple. I have six fire magic stones and then four null magic stones. And null magic stone is uh, produce a black or you can produce a red, take 200 damage. If you have null, you banish this card and you add both. But I'm never really going to have null in this deck, so I don't really worry about that. Yeah. It's mostly just to give me the black source that I can still have red with. Sure, I'm going to take some extra damage if I use it for red, but so be it. Uh, that's okay, yeah. It gives me the black that I need for all my little silly spells. And you're going to be hopefully out damaging the race for sure. Yeah, yeah. That's the hope, that's the hope is that you're just like, ah, my dudes are bigger. I'm going to kill you in like two turns. Yeah. So hopefully we get there. The deck list will be down below, guys. Check it out. See, see what you like. Let us know. And we will uh, talk to you all again next time. Goodbye. Goodbye. Also, guys, we just remind y'all to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and if you want to keep up to date on all the future content, make sure you click that bell. It'll give you all the notifications you need. With that, we'd like to go ahead and give a big thank you to all our fans that support us through the year, and especially our Patreon support people. Uh, we do like to give a shout out to our Mythic and Above uh, supporters, and that would be Dwayne Higgs. Thank, thank you very you much. much. We love you.